Oh my gosh, hi. My house might not be ready, but come on in. I'm Jesse Tyler Ferguson. I'm so happy you're here. Is, are things ready? Really wasn't expecting you here. So this is the home I share with my husband, Justin Makita. We've been here about five years. It's a Spanish colonial home built in the late 1920s. This is the foyer, and uh, there's a lot of, I don't know about this place. There's all these faces on the ceiling of people that I have no idea who they are. I've always thought about having a sketch artist paint my friends on there instead. I'm not sure where Justin is. Justin? Yeah? AD's here. Oh, there he is. Hey, nice to see you. Hi. <laughs> That's our little peekadoo, peekadoo, peekadoo door. <laughs> it's our peekadoo door into our closet. Again, I really didn't know you guys would be coming, so I have no idea the state of the house. We have some fun little balconies on the way up to look over onto some of the other rooms. I perform a Vita up here a lot. Here's the rest of the family. This is Justin and this is Leaf, our firstborn, and Sammy, our new, our new puppy. I'm not sure if they're groomed yet or anything. You're really catching us off guard. Um, but come on in, this is our master bedroom. We have our J and J for Jesse and Justin. We have those pillows. We normally don't have fresh flowers by the bed. I mean, it was just lucky that we had them there because we really did not know you guys were coming. Actually, the bedding is designed by my husband, Justin. He has a, a company called Thread Experiment. We uh, built in this oh, yeah, headboard the... that we love so much. It's a upholstered headboard, but it's actually built for the space. It took us a while to figure out which fabric we wanted for the headboard because it's such like a statement piece that you really can't switch out. So that was something that was sort of hard to, to figure out. Some people might already know this, but Justin and I have a bow tie line called Tie the Knot, and all the bow ties are sold for gay rights equality. We started off raising money for marriage equality, and we've achieved that, yay, so now we're still raising money for uh, protecting those equality rights that we've worked so hard to, to work for. So we have these um, drawers with all of our bow ties from all of our collections. That we, we have hundreds and hundreds of bow ties in these drawers. But my favorite part about this closet is this hidden coffee machine. <laughs> because sometimes it's just too much to go downstairs. I lived in Albuquerque, New Mexico my whole life. I never dreamed of having a little balcony off my, my bathroom. So sometimes I, I sit out here and drink my coffee and look at this tree. It's really all I do. I just sit here and I stare. And then when I get bored of sitting and staring, I just, I fall asleep. And then I wake up and I stare some more. See, it's relaxing. These portraits of our firstborn, they're small, they're subtle. We have more pictures of our dogs than we do of ourselves. That's true. We're that couple. I'm very humble, by the way, but I do have a few SAG awards from being on Modern Family. As someone told me that it's the most that any comedy's won, I don't know if that's true or not, but here they are. It was part of an ensemble effort. These are not individually for me, but I hide all of the other things in here because again, I'm, I'm very humble. I mean, you guys aren't shooting this, are you? Oh God, stop. No, enough. Did you get it? This is our other guest room, which is actually one of my favorite rooms. Oh, this is a little crooked. Again, I had no idea you guys would be coming here today. This is highly embarrassing. This is a poster from the very first show I ever did in New York City at Shakespeare in the Park. I was in a production of On the Town. It's how I made my theatrical debut. I was only 21. This used to be on a telephone booth. Now it happens to be in my house. I love it. It means a lot to me, but Again, enough about me. Um, let's, let's go downstairs. This is what I assume is, they used to call the great room. I don't know, is that something people used to call these rooms? Honestly, we did not know you guys would be coming here today, so I apologize for the state of the house. It's a nice big room. We haven't really done a lot to this room because I kind of liked it the way it was. Our designer who helped decorate this house with us really, really wants to paint in here, and I really just love how white and open it is. Oh, this is the first thing we bought for the house. Really practical. A giant horse made of car parts and bike parts. This was literally the only thing sitting in the house for maybe a week. Everyone always wants to sit on it, and no one has. These chairs actually were custom made for the space. A lot of our friends actually have commented on how much they love these chairs, and they're very comfortable, and they always want to know where, where they can get one, and they're one of a kind. They can buy them off of us for the right price. <laughs> this. Little door was the thing that we saw that made us love this house so much when we first, remember? Well, we turned this corner right. and then... And then we saw this door. It's a little door into a fun little office. 
I, I feel like this was a holding area for like when you're waiting to meet the lady of the house and like they would just sort of sit in, I, this is what I assume. And this is what we make our friends do. We make them wait in here before we greet them. It's also a great fallout shelter. Our library, uh, although we've, I've never read a book in here. There the aren't book, even. There, there, there are some books apparently behind some of these doors. The first thing that I sort of love are these dueling diva candles. Justin's favorite, Britney Spears. It says work bitch on it. Someone gave me this Barbara Streisand one, which I accepted gleefully. Our designer Peter brought this Liza Minnelli head to us. God, we really sound gay in this video. Another fun thing we have in here is our, our cake topper from our wedding. It's made out of cardboard and we've put it under this museum glass because it's very, very dear to us. It actually is, it I is. love this. So the, some of the things we do in here is drink. Every time we have a dinner party, we always wind up in here after or before right. with cocktails. We'll put on a record and listen to some Ella Fitzgerald and drink some more booze. Or Britney Spears on vinyl. This is our dining room. The only thing we really did to this space was wallpaper it and, and change the lighting sconces. I also love the, the painted ceiling in here. I can also make anyone a sandwich if they want anything. The woman who owned the house before us was a professional chef, so we inherited her beautiful chef's kitchen. Sometimes I lay on this and just stare at the ceiling, thinking about things I want to make. I love collecting cookbooks, so I have quite a collection. This is only like half of what I own. I, I, the other half is in the library somewhere behind one of those doors that I never open. And I'm sure every kitchen has this. Yes, queen, work. This was a gift from my friend Julie, from this artist who paints celebrities on top of sandwiches. So this is me sitting on a hamburger. And I'm honored to be one of his uh, muses. This is a, a portrait of Sophia and Julie. It's a recreation of a, the famous Sophia Loren, Jane Mansfield portrait that was taken, I believe, at the Oscars. I don't know a lot about the history of the, the original picture, but I, I love it. <laughs> now, seriously, this is my favorite room in the house. <laughs> it actually is the room we spend the most time in, the room with the TV. My favorite thing in this room is my four year wedding anniversary present, or was this three? Whatever, and whatever leather. year leather is, because the, the mat of the frame is leather, and this is one of the candid photos of us leaving our wedding, going to our after party. Probably my favorite picture from the wedding. Yeah, it's a good one. So I wanna show you our patio that we did a little bit of work on. But first, we just celebrated our five year anniversary, and the fifth year anniversary gift in like the traditional sense is wood. And there used to be a crest here from the house that I had taken off because there's a little peekaboo door here. And this J and J with the knot around it was actually the art that we used for our invitations and our save the dates. And it was throughout our whole wedding. So I have this little door put in as a surprise for Justin. And he loves it. <laughs> Come on out. Oh good, the fire is going. Good. Again, I had no idea you guys would be coming here, so I don't know why the fire is already going on this warm 90 degree day. So this is our outdoor space. It's a great place to have cocktails at the end of the night. It's a great place to watch the sunset. I really wanted an outdoor fireplace that looked like a fireplace. I wanted something that looked like it was part of the house. The pool was actually built by Gwen Stefani who lived here years before us, but apparently she put in the pool and had to go through a lot of red tape to get this into this, this area. And so I would like to thank her publicly. We've never met, but thank you for all your hard work because now it's one of my favorite places in our home. We just wallpapered in here and we had a really hard time figuring out what kind of wallpaper we wanted to put in. And we ended up with drunk monkeys. Monkeys smoking cigars, monkeys taking bras off of other monkeys, monkeys drinking vodka. We love it. It seems appropriate because that's basically what's happening at this what point. happens at the house. <laughs> and don't let the door fool you. This is a all gender bathroom. You get your steps in at this house. Um, it just keeps going up and up and up. Your ears might pop after a while. I am so out of breath from coming up here. It's great cardio. 
but it has great views of Los Angeles and the Griffith Park Observatory. During the 4th of July, you can see all the little fireworks shows throughout the whole city up here. Like right now at the peak heat of the day, we don't usually come up here. It's more a nighttime, hang with friends by the fire, bring up a tray of like snacks and cheese. And I've fallen asleep up here a few times. It feels kind of like a secret garden oasis. And I think it's probably one of my favorite areas of the house, this and the library. Thank you so much for coming by, AD. We've loved having you here. Again, so sorry about the state of the house. Everything's a mess. Um, I hope it wasn't too big of a deal. Take care. Bye. Oh, you're still here. If you can just... Push the button. Push the button, the gate will open, and then just hang a left. Okay. Okay.